Serena Henderson here with what happened in Mississippi this week. After Mississippi State University and Mississippi University for Women removed the state flag from their campuses earlier this week, only one of the state's eight public institutions of higher learning still flies the flag with the Confederate battle emblem in its corner. Delta State U University still raises the Mississippi flag in the wake of the 2015 South Carolina Church Massacre that reignited debate about displaying the Confederate battle flag across the South. DSU President Bill LaForge told our Adam Gannis show that people on campus want the flag to change. That the flag needs to change. That ball is in the court of our state government. And, and that's one of the most frustrating things that's going on. The town of Greenville has taken a big gamble in breaking ground on a more than $9 million hotel in its downtown area where some storefronts have been empty for more than 20 years. Developers and the local government hope that the new downtown project and a recently announced $46 million grant for a new federal courthouse will revitalize the city that lost more than a quarter of its population since the 1990s. Mississippi's Department of Transportation budget is being reviewed for the fourth time in four years. The Legislators Tax and Budget Review Committee is looking at how the agency spends its billion dollar budget. Several legislators traveled the state this summer documenting repairs needed on highways and bridges. Mississippi Economic Council Scott Waller conducted a study last year and says the longer the state waits to increase funding for infrastructure maintenance and expansion, the more it will cost taxpayers. For more details on these stories and other headlines from across the state, visit MississippiToday.org.